What job would be most destructive to society if you did it in reverse? Sewage engineers. You design a system that pumps garbage into people's homes. Similarly, waste removal. You get a week's worth of rotting food and plastic dumped at your door on a regular basis. Taxis. They snatch you up from where you need to be and take you far away from it. At least they hand you some money. As an unemployed student with Pokemon Go, this would be quite a good thing because if they drop me somewhere and hand me cash equal to the taxi fare price, I would be happy walking home catching Pokemon with a little extra. I would have to say diplomats. Primary job is to facilitate peaceful communication between nations. If the job was reversed, we would already have had several nuclear wars and probably be back to the Stone Age. Maybe not overly destructive, but a soup kitchen would be funny to imagine. Stealing whatever food the homeless have and selling it back to the supermarket. Except the supermarket would sell the food back to the distributors, who would give it back to the farmers to plow into the ground. Heck, the homeless would all of a sudden be the only ones with homes. Bomb disposal. They go into safe areas and leave explosives. For crying out loud, attach the red wire or we're all gonna live! Firefighters become arsonists, librarians destroy books, doctors give you vaccines containing Ebola, AIDS, etc. Architects go around blowing up buildings, computer programmers hack everything, garbage disposal companies just dump trash at your house once a week. I don't know what's wrong with me. Teaching. You can only actively suck away knowledge from people for so long until they start being unable to do all but the most simple tasks. No, stupid kid, there were never dinosaurs. It was unicorns, chimeras, and pixies. We find no trace of them because Merlin was in a bad mood one day and made them all disappear. Scientists speculate that the sand isn't sand at all and is made of their ashes. Every emergency room doctor would become a serial killer. Fortunately, we would have tons of murderers running around bringing people back to life. I'm tech support for enterprise firewall support. If I did the opposite, I'd be breaking internet access and internal access to internal devices for lots of small governments and multinational corporations. That could potentially interrupt food delivery networks, GPS tracking, communications networks, social media access, email, text, TV, anything involving delivering content digitally. That would be pretty bad. The CDC, spreading diseases everywhere. Also destroying research and raising public health warnings and dismantling quarantine areas. Firefighter. I'm picturing a big red truck pulling up to a house and setting it on fire. A therapist. They'd emotionally break you. Devil's advocate to your idea, though. How many people go to therapists these days anyway? Not many compared to the total population. If everyone knew therapists tried to mentally and emotionally break you, people would just stop going to therapists. Mining. We'd look like overgrown squirrels tucking away diamonds for later. Ever been to an outdoor shooting range? That's basically what it is. Injecting metals back into the earth. Reverse mining. Gravedigger. Digging up all of your dead relatives and bringing them back home? Don't want none of that. When Timmy's father passed away, he didn't turn to drink. He simply dug him up one day and kept him in the sink. Animal control. People in uniform showing up dropping off aggressive animals. I'd be more worried about a junkyard cat. TSA. Instead of taking dangerous things off you, they pass you a weapon before boarding a plane. Yes, let me see your ID and ticket. Thank you, sir. Here is your machete. Enjoy the flight. Wait a second. Doesn't this mean that a pilot's job would be to crash the plane? No wonder they're getting weapons. They have to hijack the plane in order to get to their destination. Construction. Attractive women whistle and hoot at the construction workers as they dismantle buildings. Wastewater management. Take clean water, bathe in it, use it to wash your laundry, have a pee and poop in it, and add any leftover medications you have lying around, then pipe it to the consumer so they can boil their pasta with a few mystery croutons. Then put it in plastic bottles and charge $3 for it. Chemical or nuclear waste cleanup. Meanwhile, terrorists are the ones saving everyone's life. I would have been dead if not for that terrorist. Trash guy. 
While I was in Italy for a few years, the garbage men went on strike fairly often. Walking in downtown Naples, you could walk by 30-foot-high trash piles on the side of almost every street. It wouldn't ruin society or anything, but I have a part-time job delivering flowers, like sympathy and congratulations, and I pictured myself going to people's houses and weddings and stealing their flowers. Throws open doors of the church sanctuary in the middle of a wedding ceremony. Uh, I got a code 305, Bridezilla alert. Forcefully removes bouquet from bride. Ma'am, you don't deserve these. Walks out of sanctuary like a boss. Personal trainer. You actively push people to lift lighter and lighter weights and increase their calories at a steady pace until all signals of that beach body disappear. Obstetrician. Hunters of babies. Midwife. Trying to stuff babies back in there. Jailer. Letting criminals loose on a daily basis. Wouldn't the criminals be good guys in this reversed world, though? In which case, the jailer would be releasing a bunch of innocent philanthropists upon the world. I would say shelf stackers. You wouldn't have a single thing to buy to eat or drink. They control your shopping trips. Beware. Either prostitutes, put the jizz back in, or surgeons, sow cancer into you. Nah, prostitutes are people who visit, who suck STIs out of your body. Farming. So the farmers would be consumers and the consumers would be farmers. There would be crops everywhere. My job. Behavioral health care manager. I normally help people with certain mental health diagnosis treatment, plan their medical and behavioral care, and ensure it is effective. In order to do the opposite, I would find sane and healthy people and do my best to make them sick and crazy. Therapist here. I've occasionally met people who fit that description. Sigh. Some people should not be in this field. The guy whose job is to hold all the codes for the nuclear missiles and vow never to share them with anyone. Doctor. Imagine going in for the flu and walking out with a puncture wound, HIV, and a bad liver. Ain't no normal world doctor gonna take away your HIV. Teacher. Jimmy, you know way too much. Time for the mallet again. I work in a library, and I immediately thought of breaking into people's homes to steal all of their books. I'm a librarian. I have to stop people from getting information at all costs. Step away from the books, please. Being a telecommunications installation technician. Slowly but surely, we would effectively remove all the network cables in buildings. No more Google Fiber, no more internets. Subtle, but accounting. Your job becomes willfully lying about numbers and hiding money and committing fraud. The economies of the world would collapse and turn this whole planet into a disaster zone. I think it would be more like taking a well-formatted Excel spreadsheet or report and using that data to create a bunch of poorly managed receipts, invoices, etc., and distributing them to random people in the company. Also, unboxing years of financial records from storage and placing them on the desks of the other accountants. Engineering. Reverse engineering is actually not bad, though. Taking things apart to figure out how they work. Politicians. They would actually help everyone while making their country a better place. Janitor. I feel like the reverse of a janitor would be a drunk college kid. Walks around throwing stuff down, puking and pooping on the floor. Maybe lays down somewhere and pisses. Chef. I'll make it my life's mission to see you starve to death makes you vomit food, which he then sells to the grocery store, which then sells to the farmer, who buries it. In our current society, IT. Everything runs on computers now. All of a sudden, we would be in the dark ages. Aside from a small sum of us, people would be freaking out and panicking as their credit and debit cards are reduced to useless pieces of plastic, business stops dead still, former records are no longer accessible, and internet goes down, cars stop running, and everything else that came 90s and after goes down for sure. Probably the worst hit would be those that were born in the 80s and later. Most of us would not know what to do with ourselves, unless we grew up poor or without as much technology reliance. I help fundraising for nonprofits, so yeah, it'll be like a reverse Robin Hood. They are real. We call them politicians. Historians. It brings a whole new meaning to this quote. God cannot alter the past, though historians can. Doomed to repeat it. I guess it's time for a second round, guys. Delivery man. 
steals your stuff without you knowing, but rings your doorbell in victory when he is successful. Coroner, putting dead bodies around the place. Or take it one step further and they reanimate bodies. The guy that pushes the nuke button. Road construction crews. They build roads in a timely fashion, 